How's it going guys? It's me, it's the Castle, and today we're going to be discussing on how to use uh, Restream.io with Streamlabs OBS and OBS. They pretty much operate the same way, so I'm going to show you how to do it with Streamlabs OBS, and you'll pre be pretty much able to figure it out. So let's jump right into the video. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to open up our browser and we're going to go to Restream.io. We're going to click on the first one there and I have already um, basically have an account so I'm going to log in but when you do this it's free to use uh, you're going to sign up and it's going to log in you're going to get to a page just like this one except it's not going to have all this stuff it's going to ask you what do you want to add and you're going to have all these choices. Now, the only part that's going to actually cost you money is if you use uh, Facebook or uh, an RTMP server, which let's take a look. See here. Where are you at? RTMP server. Oh, right down here. I'm, I'm stupid. OK, anyways, RTMP server. Uh, Facebook uses one. So if you want to try your luck on Facebook, uh, you can do that. It's $19.99 a month. I got really lucky and uh, Restream.io had a, a discount going when they first uh, launched or they did a little revamp and I got for like seven bucks a month for like life or something like that. So anyways, uh, so you haven't added any channels yet. So we are going to go to, let's try YouTube. And it's going to bring you to something like this. I'm not going to go all the way through it, but I'm going to click connect now. Most of these are really easy. You're going to click next, click next, put in your account information. And then it's going to ask you to allow all these things to happen to your account. Now, you can actually go through and read all these. Um, this is kind of basic information. It's got to let you pretty much know the stuff in your account to be able to connect with it. So. It's just like any other uh, thing you use in conjunction with a platform like YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. You're gonna click allow, and you're gonna be pretty much good to go. Now I will say on, oh, I gotta reload the browser there, restream.io, oh, oh, gotta log back in. Oh boy, okay, bridge, Br wait, wait, bridges, okay. That should be it. All right, cool, all right. Now, there are different types of uh, ways to basically, or different types of ways to stream to platforms. Now, Twitch and Mixer, you don't really have to worry about this too much. Honestly, Twitch, uh, Mixer, Facebook, and YouTube are kind of the four big dogs I would probably focus streaming on, in all honesty. Uh, but basically, I will show you what I was just talking about. So you go to add channel. Now you got YouTube events. And then you got uh, Facebook Live, and where's the other one? Oh yeah, R RTMP. So, for example, if you use the RTMP with Facebook, for example, it actually gives you more customization in terms of using thumbnails, uh, more descriptions, and uh, settings when setting up a stream. Same thing with YouTube events. YouTube stream now is basically kind of the lazy version of just streaming. Like if you just want to make a thumbnail and go, you know, you actually have to do it on YouTube's end. That's the really only one I've had to mess with. But other than that, uh, if you just want to be lazy and use Mixer, Twitch and Facebook, you just do Facebook live. We'll go back to the, the main part Yep, Facebook right there. And there's my page right here and boom. But if you use the RTMP server, then you have to log into Facebook. You have to go to creator studio and kind of the same with uh, YouTube as well. You have to go to your studio, uh, go to streaming and set up everything and yada, 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 all, all that good stuff. So basically adding channels is really self-explanatory and easy. The only, part where you, it might be difficult is when you get different uh, platforms that you have to do a little more. For example, RTMP, you have to uh, copy and paste that stuff. Uh, the the streamer information, uh, stream key, uh oh, I don't think you saw the whole thing, so we're good. <laughs> but anyways, you have to copy that stuff off the actual platform, the website itself, and then put it into here. 
and then once you save it it should be good if it's not usually restream is really good about saying hey it didn't connect blah blah blah, blah. you know yada 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 all right i'm gonna shut up now anyways uh twitch you don't have that and mixer you can actually yep yep auto detect pretty easy stuff periscope is kind of nice if you didn't know that's connected with twitter um it allows you to stream on twitter which you know i used to do a lot but i don't like to seem spammy on twitter no one likes to see that stuff really um but yeah this is just a multi-streaming page very easy um now let's get into the server uh well this is my rtmp um but it will pre probably look this way for you as well um but this is going to be your stream key and your server that you're going to want to put into stream labs and let me show you how to do that real quick very easy stuff and i'll actually show you how to do a speed test real quick to find out which server you want so when you're on this page you're going to want to click on the three dots here and click on settings and then you're gonna you know you can mess around with all this stuff billing all that stuff and then you're going oh it looks like a notification went through on Streamlabs, but streaming setup okay so it shows the same stuff we saw before we're gonna do a speed test this is gonna allow you to basically um, show you the fastest server for you in terms of MS so for me somehow in the midwest uh na east it's going to be toronto canada and it was between that and dallas which you know you're seeing about a almost an 8 10 ms difference so it does matter but sometimes some of the servers aren't as reliable so like this has a tendency to not always work or i don't know if it's my restream settings but uh most of the time it's pretty darn reliable so you just kind of have to be uh, cognizant of that that these areas can go down um, anyways we're gonna go back to where we were um, to the multi stream page and then yep right here is going to show you a preview of when you stream and here you can select on and off for the streams that you want selected so if I don't want to stream to Facebook and just twitch and mixer I just click on that uh, just to toggle that off um, all right, let's get to the, ch actually, nope, let's get the titles. That's what we wanna do. So, Restream is really nice because not only do you, are you allowed to stream on multiple platforms, but it allows you to update all your titles of your stream. It's kind of like your, your streamer dashboard. So you don't have to go to Twitch's dashboard, Mixer's dashboard. It's kind of nice. So if I just wanna put in classic wow, and then I update it, boom. And it tells you, you know, it's a game, all updated. And it even updates the one, the platforms you're not even using, which is nice. Now, if you want to get in a little more detail, you click on edit. Facebook gives you a description part, which is nice because it's kind of like YouTube. You don't want to just leave nothing in the description. It allows people to kind of see what you're streaming. Um, now, I will say this, when you go to games, there's a specific amount of games here. So if you're streaming something not on that list and using restream, oops, excuse me, .io, you are going to need to click on edit here and you're gonna to need to enter the game name in exactly. And most likely it will update with the platform. And I've had to do that a few times when I've played some indie games and whatnot. So anyways, that's how to do the title and the, the title or the, the game, select the game. Now your social alert, you can actually connect your Twitter, your Discord, and your Facebook. And when you go live on, uh, you can set a message up to connect to people on these uh, these platforms that you're connected with. So it's kind of nice, like for your fans, your followers, they are able to say, see on not only that platform you're streaming on, but multiple platforms that if they follow you on, they'll be able to see that. So that's awesome. Now we're going to get into the chat chat is really nice um for restream it was kind of difficult for me at first but they actually added a really nice feature which i'm going to show you but i recommend downloading it uh for windows which is going to give you the most bang for your buck or the options you can just do this or um there's like an in browser chat option uh i just like to use the the actual app i have it downloaded right there makes things way easier and i'll, I'll show you a little a couple quick tricks on the, the actual app. So 
You don't have to have it this big. It's kind of nice. You can resize it. It's like a pop-out chat, basically. Um, so right here, you're going to see the amount of platforms I've connected. So I have Twitch, Facebook, and Mixer. And I got three out of three connected. I'm not currently streaming, but when you stream, you, you can type uh, a message and it'll send it to all platforms, or you can go to an individual platform and talk to someone. Uh, the really nice thing about this app, which I just found out recently, is they have this option to relay all chats to all other platforms. Now, when I first started using this about a year ago, it was very uh, difficult in terms of trying to explain uh, stuff to people because you'd be talking to someone and they're like, who the hell is this guy talking to? I'm the only viewer in his chat. And they wouldn't realize you'd have to explain to them, oh, someone's on Facebook. I'm using Restream.io. And people are like, what the hell is that? You know, no one's ever heard of it. So anyways, you're going to click on bot. And you're going to click on relay mode. This basically forwards all incoming chat messages from each platform to all other platforms. And I'll show you, you a quick example of that. So right here is the Restream bot. I won't show you how to do this in Streamlabs, but if you want me to make a video on it, I will gladly do that and get more in depth with just Streamlabs in general and green screens and all that stuff. But I have it on my stream, which you don't have to do that. But as you can see here on the right hand side, it shows all the messages and it says Facebook and I'm on Twitch. So that makes things very convenient with using this relay mode. And it actually allows you to connect people from multiple platforms, which is really nice because starting out as a small streamer, if you want to go full time, you want to keep your options open. It's really hard to just grind it out on Twitch and Mixer. I mean, you can do that. You know, it's your decision on all that stuff. But this makes it so you have uh, options. I will say though, when using Restream, some of these platforms, uh, I have pretty good connection on all of them. I have good internet, but some of these platforms, you don't get the full potential of the connection, which it's not a huge difference, but I will say that if you just solely stream to Twitch or Mixer, you will probably have a little bit better delay. But uh, if you mess with your uh, Streamlabs enough and the settings and test it, I have actually got my delay really short on all these platforms, but I also have good internet. So that kind of helps. Um, embed it in the stream so you can kind of click uh, what it looks like in your stream. You're going to copy it, put that into your Streamlabs and whatnot. Uh, did I show you how to do it on Streamlabs yet? I don't think so. So, okay. We will get to the chat first, though. Analytics, it tells you how many messages you had in the last period. Uh, Discord filtering, you can filter out bad words. And this is a thing I like to use as notifications. I like to use text to speech because sometimes I get pretty hardcore into a game. Now, I will say it is a double edged sword because some people like to abuse it. And if you can use your imagination, they'll type in words that sound like other words, which, you know, that can get you in trouble while streaming. But you can always just switch it off and switch it on. But you also have a, a notification, a bell sound, enable desktop notifications. It's pretty nice. So the chat, I definitely recommend uh, messing around with this and setting it up on your stream for Restream.io. All right. So we're going to get into how to set this up. We're going to pull this up real fast. All right. We got our stream key and our RTMP. Uh, well, that's the free version, but I have an RMTP I pay for, but it's going to pretty much look the same. You're going to go to Streamlabs or OBS, and it's pretty much the same on both of them because I've used both. You're going to want to go to Settings and Stream, and you're going to want to select the option not streaming services because that like lets you pick Twitch and all the other options. You're going to go to Custom, and you're going to copy and paste the URL and I got to go back there and run out of space, make a little room. There we go. All right. The URL in here. So, and then I'm not going to look at, show you my stream key and you can just click this button. It's a copy key. You just control V or, you know, right click or however you do it. Boom. Click done. And then you're pretty much ready to get streaming. You just click go live and then you are good to go in terms of streaming. Uh, to all these platforms now you can get something like i have it's like a counter 
that shows uh, how many people are on each platform. It's kind of just an informative thing for viewers. So, you know, they're not like, oh, I'm the only person in here, you know. It's kind of nice. You'll have like, you know, five people in Mixer and three in Twitch. So it gives uh, just more eyeballs. That's why I like Restream a lot because it just gives you more eyeballs on your content as a, a content creator streamer. What was I going to show you guys? All right, we're going to exit out of this part here real fast. So that's pretty much how you connect it. Um, oh, yeah, analytics. This is nice because you can look at all the streams you've had. And it will tell you the platforms and how long the stream were, was. And you just click on it and it will tell you. Oh, see, I had some connection issues. So that was a six minute stream of eight hours. Okay, let's look at this one. So yeah, three channels. Ooh, that was a good stream. I think that's how I got all the views on Facebook that day. Ooh. Yep, this is probably my best streaming day I've had. So yeah, it tells you, what, what, 95? Huh, oh, that's my current follower count. Okay, okay. But anyways, this is really cool. You can do a scheduler. That's what that button is right down there. I'll go back real fast so you can see it. I don't personally use it. Um, you can if you want. I yeah, stream. Oh, you can uh, you can record live videos and then upload them, and then it's kind of like a replay. What like Ninja does if you're familiar with them, and you can schedule an event and then stream. Pretty nice. Um, oh, also, did I say this is your preview? Uh, you can set up a webcam, but uh, I just use Streamlabs. OBS because it just makes things way easier um, yeah I think that pretty much well covers everything I was gonna talk about I'm pretty sure that pretty much covers it I know I'm kind of just babbling on like an idiot but uh, I've had to learn all this stuff as I went you know and went along and you know I I feel like I have some valuable information uh, in terms of the restream.io platform on how to use it. It took me a while to figure it all out, but I think I got a pretty good handle on it. If there is anything that you guys uh, think I missed or anything that you else that you want me to cover, uh, be sure to leave that down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget this is me, Mr. Castlin. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, share the video with your friends. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take it easy.